So there was a massive data breach on Twitch. I'm going to go through some of the things that have been found out. But before we get going, please make sure that you have reset your passwords and put two-factor authentication on. I don't think this is the actual aim of the hack, but nonetheless, it's better to be safe than sorry. So someone posted a magnet link on 4chan on Wednesday at 2 o'clock. And the post basically read, We bring you today an extremely poggers leak. Twitch is an American video live streaming service that focuses on video game live streaming, including broadcasts of esports competitions. Operated by Twitch Interactive, a subsidiary of Amazon Inc. Their community is also a disgusting toxic cesspool, so to foster more disruption and competition in the online video streaming space, we have completely pawned them in part one, uh, releasing the source code from almost 6,000 internal Git repositories, including and creator payouts reports from 2019 until now. Find out how much your favourite streamer is really making. And then the last bit was, Jeff Bezos paid 970 million for this, we're giving it away for free. Hashtag do better Twitch. So two things to take away from there. One is that they feel that Twitch has too much of a market share and the other that this is a part one. So we are expecting more leaks to follow this afterwards. So I can confirm that there is three years worth of details on payouts on Twitch. Now they weren't specifically just on top earners. These were a bunch of CSV files that date back from 2010 all the way to 2021, including this month. The CSVs that were leaked also do not directly mention the streamers by name. It is all done by ID. So for all the lists that you see up at the moment with people's names, they've had to do a lookup based on their Twitch ID, which is an integer, aka just a string of numbers. How they've gone about this, I don't actually currently know, but it would suggest that they have a database or a list of these IDs or have done external lookups using the Twitch API. I thought this kind of information would have been private, but I guess that it is on the public API and you can do a lookup for on the details. So I'm presuming what they've done is they've put it into order by amount earned and then done a top 100 lookup on all the IDs and then worked out the usernames from there. Additionally, there is a huge amount of source code that has been released, everything from their mobile to desktop to basically video game clients. A lot of it is pretty boring standard stuff that no one would be really interested in. There is some admin tools, there's some proprietary SDKs, and there's also some internal AWS services that Twitch are currently using. There are various admin tools which I'm guessing they use to ban people and moderate channels, but also there is links to the service which is responsible for showing your view count. There's also repos on Twitch's internal security tools. There's also all their information on their IGDB and CurseForge databases. And one of the biggest surprises was an actual competitor to Steam, which is coming from Amazon Game Studios. Now, whether or not this was an idea that had been mothballed or something that they're working on is yet to be said, but it's still interesting to see and find out that that thing exists. In total, there's over 150 projects from the Twitch repo. Having looked at the size of the code base, I'm going to say this is probably all of it, as it does alphabetically go from A to Y. Personally, I really hope Twitch manages to get a hold of this. The information that has been leaked can potentially be massively damaging to them, and we're not even talking about just simply emails and phone numbers being leaked. If you're involved in the exploit market, this is an absolute gold mine. There are all their software versions, the type of coding that you're using. If you're an individual who writes view bots, then this is perfect because you'll have access to all the information and details on how they're actually circumventing view bots at the moment. And also additionally, the damage to Twitch's reputation at the moment because it hasn't been great lately, especially with the whole hate raid thing going on. So this is all I'm going to cover on the subject at the moment, depending on how things develop. If more comes out on the code base, then we will go through it and talk about it together because as a developer, I probably have a lot to say on this topic anyway. But if you want to have a closer look at this, check out on Twitter. There are individuals who are leaking a lot more than I have said in this video. But as a reminder, please do reset your passwords just as a matter of precaution. And I'll be back with more news and topics on this relatively soon.